All right, in this video, we're going to take care of the rest of the structure of our user interface, or our HTML template. So I'm going to go to the admin section, and we're going to create a bunch of files here. Okay, so we'll create articles. Um, categories. Settings. Uh, login. We need to create our login view as well, or our login template. Uh, let's see. Users. Now we're also going to have add article.html, add user, um, pretty much add whatever categories. Uh, but instead of making uh, a separate one for each form, a separate form, I'm just going to create one document and just call it add. Actually, we'll just do the add article because they're, it's all basically the same thing. Um, the articles and categories pages are basically the same. They just have different fields. Um, so I'm not going to get too in depth with the, the HTML here anyway. Um, so let's open up articles. And I'm just going to paste the code in here. Okay, so we have our bootstrap. It's the same dashboard layout. Um, and then in the main area we have a heading for articles we have our table which has name category author date actions basically the same exact thing that's in the index file for articles alright so if we look at that we should be able to now click on articles okay it takes us to this page alright so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna paste in our other ones so open categories and paste that in. Same thing, just the layout with another table. So now this should work. Okay. Um, users. Save that. And there's our users table. And what else? Settings. Paste that in. Settings. All right, uh, this here, these buttons. I think I need to change something here. Um, is our settings heading? This should actually be MD call MD6 there and there there we go alright so there's our main pages um, now we just need the form and actually you know what? I'm gonna create the other add um, files as well like add categories whoops Want add category dot HTML. Let's do add user dot HTML. I think that's good. Let's open up add article and I'm just going to paste this in. Okay, so basically we just have a form. We have our title, we have the submit buttons, and then I have a little breadcrumb area where it's just going to have a link to the dashboard, to the main articles page, and then this just tells us we're on add article. Okay, so here we start the form, the title, the body, access, author, just a bunch of static form elements. So let's see, reload. Now if we click add article, 
Okay, so here's the little bread crummy area I was talking about. All right, so that looks good. Let's do add category now. Paste that in, same thing, basic form. And also add user. Okay, let's save that and go to users, add user. All right, um, actually on the side here, we have user groups, which isn't on the other, in the other ones. I'm just gonna get rid of that for now and we'll add that when we actually build the application. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of it from the dashboard, which is index. I initially, I wasn't even gonna do user groups, but I figured it's usually um, a big part of content management systems to have different groups, so I figured I'd uh, implement at least a, a little bit of it. All right, so that actually should be it for our admin template. Okay, now we just need the login um, template, which we can get from Bootstrap. If we go to sign in page. All right, so uh, let's see, I'm gonna just do a control U and we're gonna copy all of this and then go into login.html, paste it in, and let's see, let's change a few things here, get rid of that. Login, get rid of this, and this should be just bootstrap.css sign in we need to actually get that let's act let's go get that now so let's do a control u again and click on this sign in dot css and copy all of this and we want to put that in here okay paste that in and save it all right, so now that should be good. Get rid of this debugging stuff. And I'm gonna replace this please sign in with cool CMS. And this has the email address. For def by default, I want a username. So this will be type text. Say enter username, and this one will say enter password. Looks good. We're not going to have the remember me checkbox, so we can get rid of that. All right, so let's save that and see what that looks like. All right, looks good. I just want to center this text here. Okay, so form sign in heading. So I'm gonna just edit the sign in CSS and search for this, which I guess is, not oh, it's right here. Okay, so right here, I'm just gonna add in text align center. Okay, we'll see if that works. All right. So there's our login form. We get our login, our admin, and front end UI complete, um, at least the HTML version. So in the next chapter, we will start to integrate our UI into our application, and we'll go from there.